Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Hey, Pablo, how's it going? Good. How you doing, Wilson? <clears throat> you know, when I was talking to somebody and I'm telling them I'm going to be talking to you, and they go, the guy from 13 Hours and Dead of Thieves, he's so good for this role. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you know, so coming into this, obviously, everybody knows the game. You know, what led you to say yes and taking on the series? Just the scale of the franchise, you know, it was a no brainer to accept as a, as a career opportunity just right from the go. You know, you don't get you don't get offered the chance to play Master Chief every day. Um, and from the moment that I was brought that opportunity, it was always going to be a yes. But what I found out uh, in beginning to investigate what the opportunity meant is that the amount of uh, story and mythology that's already been created in the Halo franchise over the course of 20 years is so deep and rich and just like the most beautiful place to tell a story in that uh, I, I felt luckier and luckier every single day I was investigating uh, and learning about that. So when you say investigating and learning, were you playing the games? Did you have somebody tell you about the games and all its structures and its history? So that way, when you're talking to fans, you're expecting you to know a lot. <laughs> sure, yeah, I, I've definitely played the game, but that's that's a very small part of, of my you know research for the role. I don't think you have to be a good uh, gamer to, to be a good actor or storyteller, right? Uh, we'll, we'll be clear about that distinction first and foremost. Um, no, the, my process was really, you know, I went to 343 Industries, which is in Seattle, where they make the games. I toured the studios and they gave me what they call the 343 Boot Camp, which was a, a deep dive into the history of, of the games, how they came to be, um, and really more so uh, a, a real um, immersion in the lore and the mythology that's been established in the games. And <laughs> they gave me as much as they could in five days, and then they sent me away and sent me away with a real treasure trove uh, gift pack of all the cinematics from the games. So I'm very familiar with everything that's ever been established inside the game, you know, uh, and, and what's been established in terms of performance from Steve Downs. Um, and then uh, just sent me a couple of novels, graphic novels. Uh, and that's where, that's where my mind really started to be blown is, is the extent and the depth of what's been created through multiple mediums of, of Halo lore. And then when, you know, this is not just any role, but when you're playing this role, Master Chiefs, and, you know, obviously there's the game and then there's the sides, how best did you want to play him that defines the, what people, even though it's a standalone, that people are going to get, okay, from the games, even though this is a different story? Yeah, I think the important distinction is that Halo, the video game, is a first-person shooter, and so you're meant to believe that you're Master Chief as you're playing. So there was always, there always has been a sense of ownership that fans have had over this character. Um, but there's also been a, the way the character is established is established for a reason. He's, he's a symbol to all of us. He's, there's not a lot of character development. He's a guy who doesn't talk very much, um, but he's a symbol for bravery, for courage under extraordinary dif difficult circumstances. Um, and so that you can feel like you're him because the more character development you have and the more subtlety you establish about a character, the less the individual feels like they're him. This is a very different medium. This is a television show. And in order to create a character that audiences will connect with and go on a journey over multiple seasons with, it, it really felt incredibly important that you have to take the helmet off. You have to see the face. You have to uh, have a sense of the interior life of this person if you want to follow them over the course of many, many seasons without the co-ownership uh, aspect of playing him and believing you're him. This is now an opportunity for Halo fans to get to sit back on the couch and to watch the Chief as opposed to control the Chief. And we get to have that for two seasons. Pablo, it's been great talking to you. Keep it going. Wherever you're at, stay safe, take care. Thank you, Wilson. Appreciate you, man.